let go. Okay, so with the observer technique can also be used with addiction and cravings as well. So first of all, what is the observer or self-inquiry? Is to realize that if there is the experience of an object, there is that which observes the object. Okay, so if I hold up a mug, anyone seeing a mug, everyone is observing the mug, but one, nobody is the mug. So everyone gets an experience that this mug is, is, they have the experience of detached observation from the mug. Yeah, there's detached observation from the mug. If, even if I move this mug in front of everyone, no one is confused that they are the mug. Even if I hide the mug, you're not the mug. So a mug is an object, and the observer of an object is not an object. Okay? So the next thing is thoughts. Now thoughts are passing by. But that which observes thoughts, this is an experiential question, not an intellectual, don't go to your thinking. The observer of thoughts, is that which observes thought a thought? No, good. So it's an experience. That which is watching thoughts pass by is not a thought. It's an observer of thought. Now, the next thing is, if, if a feeling arises in consciousness like an object, you know, there's no, so let's say there's no craving, and then suddenly one is aware of a craving, and then the craving is passing, is that which is observing the craving a craving? Is the observer of the craving, is that which watches it come and go, is that a craving? So be in that, so when a craving arises, when the feeling or the urge arises, what is observing? Don't go into the thought, go into what is observing. Be the observation of a craving. If you, if you do as the addictive urge for a craving, a craving is an object. So see, oh, it's an energy. But what is observing the energy? As you do, as you start to detach from that craving, it will start to dissolve. Because you're going deeper into the observer and not into the craving or the thought. And then that will, that will collapse the craving to act out on addiction. So be the observer of a craving. If a thought comes, like I want to throw up, don't go identify with the thought. What's observing the thought? And then go to the attached observer of that thought. And the observer of a thought is not a thought, and therefore there is no need to act on that thought. It just stays present. So if there's a thought to act out or a feeling to act out, that which, feel, that which observes the feeling is not a feeling and is not a victim to the feeling. That which observes the thought, oh, I want to throw up now. But the observer of that thought is not wanting to throw up because it's space. It is not the thought. If you hook into thoughts or into a craving, then you then lose the power of being in the observer. And therefore you become an automatic robot of the program or the craving energy. So the observer of thoughts is not thoughts. If you get the experience of your body as a limit, oh, I feel my body is like a little cylinder here, is the observer of the body limited? No. So you're not a body. You're, the observer of a body is not a body. The observer of thought is thoughtless. The observer of a feeling is not a feeling or a passing feeling. The observer of time, that which observes time, does time exist in the observer of time? And you experience it. So the time doesn't exist, bodies do not exist, thoughts do not exist, cravings do not exist. If you experience any form of limitation, does that which is observing the limitation, is that limited? If you're experiencing limitation, that which is observing, is it limited? Is that which is, if there's any experience of something that can pass, is that which is observing that which can pass, can that pass? No. Okay. So through this practice, if you're stuck in a body, in a feeling, in a craving, in a thought, in time, in body, be the observer. If you go to the observer and that observer has a relationship or has interest or is hooking into something of the limited world, then go to the observer of that observer. 
in the in the in the completely detached non-attached observer is that affected by anything in this world it's not affected okay good <laughs>